Latin America and the Caribbean is the most dangerous region in the world, according to the United Nations. In the last decade, more than one million people have died as a result of criminal violence. In some cities, homicide rates are higher than those in war zones. Domestic violence, the drug trade, gangs, and high youth unemployment also contribute to the problem. The Pan American Development Foundation is working with the U.S. State Department's Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, known as INL, to implement a unique social crime prevention program aimed at reducing youth violence in the Caribbean. The Resistance and Prevention Program, or RAP, seeks to build trust and improve cooperation between law enforcement, government agencies, municipalities, civil society organizations, and the communities they serve. By the spring of 2016, more than 850 law enforcement officers and public servants have completed the training workshop in three countries, Trinidad and Tobago, the Bahamas, and Suriname. RAP programs and events have reached more than 8,000 people, particularly at-risk youth in communities with high crime rates. RAP has four components. One, capacity building. PADF and INL developed a custom curriculum to train police officers, civil servants, and community members on risk factors that lead youth to become involved in crime, as well as protective factors that can be put in place to prevent it. The goal is to build local capacity to fight crime by enhancing interagency collaboration. Two, experiential learning. Facilitators who have undergone RAP training visit schools to educate youth about how the criminal justice system works. Students then visit law enforcement agencies to see firsthand how they operate. Students also participate in mock courts that allow them to play out real-life judicial scenarios in front of an audience of their peers. Mentoring is provided by judges, prosecutors, and parole officers, creating a positive interaction between authorities and at-risk youth. Three, youth and community dialogues. RAP hosts youth and community dialogues where students, parents, and teachers are given a chance to voice their opinions and frustrations about violence at school and in the community. This safe environment helps the community find potential solutions to crime and violence. Four, community action plans. RAP facilitators collaborate with local residents to identify a problem in the community which contributes to crime. The program then guides the community on how to evaluate and solve the problem. Action plans have included public awareness campaigns that address crime, neighborhood cleanups, and vocational training programs for youth. When these four components are put into place, police officers, criminal justice officials, and government agencies are able to work more effectively and in close collaboration with schools and communities. These relationships help them respond more appropriately to prevent crime and violence among at-risk youth.